Hey guys, it's Carrie. More amazing animals. Lion. Sometimes when hunting in groups, members of the pride encircle a herd or approach it from opposite directions, then closing in for a kill in the resulting panic. After leaping on the prey, the lion lunges at its neck and bites until the animal has been strangled. Other members of the pride quickly crowd around to feed on the kill, usually fighting each other for access. Please subscribe and turn on notifications. Gorilla, chest beating is often part of a ritual and may also include running sideways, tearing at vegetation and slapping the ground. As well as intimidation, it also acts as communication between groups and are often used to maintain the dominance hierarchy within the group. Females initiate courtship by approaching the silverback with uninterrupted eye contact while puckering their lips. She may even get close enough to touch him. The dominant silverback is the only one with total access to the females. Mating occurs on the ground with the silverback on top of the smaller female face to face. After a period of eight and a half months, the young infant is born. During the first four months, the infant suckles from the mother's breast about every three hours. She carries him around using her hands for the first four months. After four months, the infant will ride on the mother's back and begin feeling confident enough to move a few meters away from the mother for brief periods. Snowflake, the albino gorilla. The world's only known albino gorilla to date, although not the only albino primate. He was a western lowland gorilla. Both parents had a rare gene that causes albinism. Malayan tapir. It is easily identified by its markings. The pattern is for camouflage. It rather looks like a large rock rather than prey when it is lying down to sleep. It is the largest of the four species. The closest relative to tapirs is actually rhinos. Bird's tapir. It has a long fleshy nose, like a shortened version of an elephant's trunk. This shy and elusive mammal lives in the tropical forests and grasslands of Central America. And here's the tapir calf. They eat a variety of leaves, twigs, fruit and seeds. The young tapirs stay with their mother for up to two years. I took this video at my local zoo. Bengal tiger. They have the longest canines of any living large cat, ranging up to 10 centimeters in length. A tiger's skull is robust, short and broad with wide zygomatic arches. The nasal bones are high, projecting little further than the maxillary, where the canines fit. Tigers have a well-developed sagittal crest and coronoid processes, providing muscle attachment for their very strong bite. Tigers are excellent climbers, using their retractable claws and powerful legs. They are able to leap long distances up to 10 meters. When a tiger is attacking, they pull the corners of their open mouth back, exposing the canines, flattening the ears and enlarging the pupils of the eyes.
African elephant, they are the largest terrestrial organism. Males are broader and have a more curvy build than females. Both sexes have two thick ivory tusks which are curved and can reach up to three and a half meters in length. Their muscular trunks are able to grab objects and can be used for breathing purposes. They can grab objects due to the unique shape at the end of the trunk. Their sizable ears are triangular and can help keep them cool in the hot summer months when they wave them in the breeze. Male elephants have the largest penis of any land animal. It is prehensile and reaches a length of 1 meter or 40 inches. It is very mobile, being able to move independently of the male's pelvis. Prior to mounting a female elephant, it just gets into position. Please stay and watch another video with me. I love to read and reply to all your comments. Thank you for watching my video. See you again soon. See you guys in my next video.